Okay, this is basic adult circulation um, through the heart, and I'm going to make it pretty simple because there's a lot of different directions that blood is flowing um, in the heart, and I just want to make it as clear cut as possible because there's a lot of ups and downs. So we're going to start with blood coming into the heart from the superior, which is up here, and inferior vena cava vena cava, depending on how you look at it. Blood is coming back to the heart. This is venous blood. That means it is not oxygenated. Not oxygenated blood from the superior and inferior vena cava. This is deoxygenated blood coming back from the system. So this is blood that has gone through your body and all of the cells have taken the oxygen and it is now coming back to the heart to become re-oxygenated. So I'm going to draw the heart, kind of like a kindergartner would, but I think it will help you grasp the concept a little bit better. Okay, so this is your basic heart and the heart is divided into four different sections. You have the right atrium, and you have the right ventricle, and you have the left atrium and the left ventricle. Now, when blood comes back from the system, it is coming into the right atrium. The right atrium is kind of like a holding tank. It takes the blood in from the system, and that blood, by gravity, is going to drain into the left ventricle. At this point, nothing has happened. No blood has been oxygenated. This is deoxygenated blood coming into the heart through the right atrium into the right ventricle. At this point it is going to travel up the pulmonary trunk to the lungs. Pulmonary means lungs. It's going to travel up through the pulmonary trunk into what I'm going to label the pulmonary arteries. Where it will become oxygenated. When you hear arteries, you always think think oxygenated. When you hear um, when you hear veins, you always think deoxygenated. I'm going to go ahead and divide our heart a little bit further so that you can see the difference. So the valve right here, this valve right here is called the right AV valve or the tricuspid. I think it's more commonly known as the tricuspid valve. And these valves are important because they keep blood from flowing backwards out of the heart when the heart contracts. So it is really important that we have these valves. Okay, so this these are the arrows, so it's come from the superior inferior vena cava into the right atrium, down through the tricuspid valve, into the right ventricle, and now it is going to be forced up the pulmonary trunk to the pulmonary arteries. This is this valve right here. This, there's always valves. <laughs> We've got to stop the backflow of blood. It's called the pulmonary semilunar valve. And remember, gravity would naturally want to take that blood back into the right ventricle, but because of this valve, it's going to keep it. The blood will fall back on it and actually close the valve, which will keep it from coming back. So now we're in the lungs. We're getting oxygenated um, as we breathe. Um, the uh, blood cells are taking on oxygen. And from here, we return to the heart 
because so remember we did leave the heart to get oxygenated we are coming now back to the heart through the left atrium via the pulmonary veins now this is the only vein that carries oxygenated blood in the whole entire body the pulmonary vein sorry pulmonary vein is bringing oxygenated blood back to the heart so we are now in the left atrium and this is once again going to cause gravity to fall through this valve which is called the bicuspid or the mitral valve and it also has um, it's also known as the left AV valve whichever word helps you remember it best um, they are all they any teacher will recognize any three of those um, names as a valid as a valid thing on a test okay so you've come through the bicuspid mitral or left AV valve whichever one you want to call it the blood is now in the left ventricle the left side of your heart is by far the most powerful side of your heart because the left side is going to need to overcome a very great pressure to travel out of the heart and into systemic circulation. Arteries have a very, very high pressure gradient and your heart does need to overcome that in order to pump the blood out. So this is your aorta right here, this valve right here um, that I've been drawing. This is what the blood is going to be forced out of to then travel to all of your organs to feed the body.